Hello, my name is Jolene Eustis. I'm half Cochiti and half Zuni Pueblo. I'm, uh, like I said, I'm um, Cochiti Pueblo on my mom's side and uh, my dad is Zuni Pueblo. So um, I'm a jeweler, metalsmith. I live here in Santa Fe and um, I was, I'm a, a single mother and I have children who are also jewelers. Um, I'm really thankful to be doing this for the museum. My mom and dad, Ben and Felicity Eustace, uh, my late dad, he's been gone five years now. My mom, she's 87 years old. She lives in Coche de Pueblo. And um, they made jewelry when, um, as a source of income when I was a child. So I started when I was eight years old and uh, when my parents would leave, I would be able to use the tools. And the grinder is just a one single wheel and it didn't have a, a water spray like this one does. I would um, carve the little turquoise that they'd have that they didn't use and I would carve it in, in the form that we use, which I call a shell, form with lines in it. I learned by watching. Um, one time when my mom and dad came home, um, I was cutting turquoise and one of the turquoise, sometimes it fractures and then you know you lost the piece. I got mad and I threw it. I was, I was eight years old. And uh, my dad, he saw that happen, and he saw me do that. And he came over to me and made me turn off the machine and don't ever do that again, he said. You need to understand that this turquoise, it's, uh, it's, it's alive. And I was like, it's alive? And he's like, it's alive. This turquoise comes from the earth, and you need to understand that. So, uh, my daughter, Kira, she used to make jewelry. She's on the mag magazine cover there. Um, but she, she made jewelry when she was small, but then she went to school at the Institute of American Indian Arts, and now she's back into designing some pieces. I look at the, the materials that we use, the silver and the stones that I use, it all comes from the Mother Earth, so it's alive. That is uh, part of the Mother Earth, or part of the sky, or part of the, the universe, the stars. Those, those, that's alive to us people. What I'm going to be carving is uh, Sleeping Beauty. A lot of the mines, natural turquoise, here in America, a lot of it's getting really hard to find because a lot of it, we're using it up. Um, this one here has the diamond wheels. These are dim diamond uh, grit embedded in these wheels. And those there at the end, it's a, like a leather wheels used for polishing. This is uh, Sleeping Beauty, which is mined in Arizona. But usually when I'm done with this process here, I usually take it to the polishing machine to give it a higher shine. I use different wheels. This is for the rough compound. This is a, called a razor wheel, which is used to take any rough edges or scratches off the stone. And then I use a different wheel for the final polish. It's a white muslin wheel. And then this is called Zam for the final polish. And it gives the um, turquoise a shiny appearance. I'll put some of this on. And just go over the turquoise. And it gives it a smooth shine. Keep the stone moving, get, keep moving the stone around and polish all the, the parts. That's the uh, finished side, and then that's the bottom side. This is one of these uh, pieces I, that I fabricated. It's with Sleeping Beauty turquoise and the green stone in the center is Broken Arrow. It's a varicite, I believe. The design is, um, I call it staying close to the fire. This is the moon altar, and then also with the uh, feathers 
down on the bottom. And then I put tracks across the moon altar. And also with the raindrops, it represents the, the water, and then the green, which represents medicine. I go to Native American church ceremonies, and this is where the idea comes from. The elders tell us to stay close to the fire, stay close to these ceremonial ways so that we'll be safe. The moon design, start from here, it represents your life as a young baby, and then you go into the teenager, then you go into a young adult, and it keeps going on to the parent, then you go into the elder, and there, that's where you become the grandma, grandpa. This is what my piece is about, and the feathers for protection.